peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. Wanted to talk about something um, really quickly, and it's uh, it's uh, it's funny because it's called um, the sweet smell of vind- vindication. And I don't say it to be funny. I don't say it to be mean. But when you have the opportunity to be vindicated, there's such a weight that's lifted off of your shoulders um, when you knew that you were right about something or it could be personal, it could be family related, it could be business related, whatever the situation or scenario is, but the sweet smell of vindication. And, and, and let's walk with me for a second when I talk about this because it becomes so apparent in your mind that you're doing the right thing, that you're saying the right thing, um, and that you just feel as though the other people are intentionally or just so out of it. And that's what they call um, sensory acuity. Sensory acuity is when you just have, you have that feeling, you have that urge. It's just, some people call it a spidey sense. It's meaning you're paying attention to everything that's in your surroundings. And when you don't have the sensory acuity, acuity, that means you miss things that are right there in your face. And it's just being more observant and being more aware. And there are opportunities or situations that come about throughout life. And like I said, it could be school. It could be anything um, that if you really don't focus and be aware of everything constantly, nonstop, you can miss out and you can miss out. And this is why I say, you know, in my personal life, you know, personal development is so apropos it is so necessary in today's time and i'm not talking about religion please do not always go to religion i had a brief conversation with someone yesterday that had nothing to do with religion but she immediately started telling me about what church she went to and i wasn't talking about that the conversation wasn't on there and that had nothing to do with the conversation there was no bearing with the conversation and i just think that many of us are blinded by what we consider as our religion as the end all and that's fine if that's what you believe i i never everybody has a right to choose and i would never tell anybody what's right or wrong which best for them i can only talk about from my behalf and what i think is best for me i just don't uh it's, it's just very difficult to understand why people jump right to that conclusion and if that's what they do cool so i'll move on from there but When it comes to vindication, when it comes to being able to come to the table and be told that, you know what, you were right. And the things that came about are happening as if that just like you said they would. You can go, hmm, you can release regardless of how long it took. You know, I'm with a a group of people right now where... We're being vindicated every day because the masses are coming in and getting involved. We're talking about a company that's getting in at one point uh, in the last few weeks. 200 plus people were coming on board every day. That's absolutely huge. So when you have people from the outside that are making comments that are saying this and that, why would you be concerned? If you're not willing to come in and see what's happening, or if you were in and you left because of whatever reason, that's fine. Don't concern yourself with things that you have no control over. If you don't want to be involved with something, don't be involved with it. But with that conversation corner, I'm not going to continue to rant. But just think, the sweet smell of vindication, seeing it every day. And I love every bit of it. Conversation corner, Thomas Amal, if you're ready to make that change, which I know you are ready to make that change. Contact me. Contact me. Inbox me. Email me. Hit me on Facebook. You know, go to my website. There's many Twitter, every way that you want. My phone number is even out there. Feel free to contact me and let's go from there. Thomas Amal, Conversation Corner. I look forward to seeing you on the beaches of the world. I look forward to seeing you to the next event, which is in Miami. I look forward to you joining my team so you can come on board and see how our team really goes works to help each other because that's what it's about we lend that helping hand to each other so everyone can uh, obtain the successes that they desire thomas amal peace